Ladies and gentlemen, I'm privileged to present to you the Schick School of Management's 70 years contribution to global management. In the following minutes, we will take you on a journey through MSM's rich history, highlighting our achievements over the past 70 years and demonstrating the value of our extended global network. On behalf of the Schick School of Management, I want to pay tribute to everyone who has contributed to its success in these 70 memorable years. Our journey starts in Delft, at the local Technical University, where in 1952 the Research Institute for Management Science, the former name of today's Maastricht School of Management, was founded. In those early days our courses are only available in Dutch, but just three years after our foundation we implement our first international courses on small-scale industries. Another four years later, we focus our attention beyond the Netherlands and start providing technical assistance and training to developing countries. In the Western world, social progressive values that begin in the 1960s continue to grow. And in that light, we too continue to grow. In 1979, Professor El Namaki joins our ranks as Dean. Under his leadership, we start our first Master of Business Administration program in the Netherlands. As our courses grow, we grow. And after 37 successful years, our campus in Delft is getting too small. From now on, the historical city of Maastricht is our new home, which is festively opened by His Royal Highness Prince Klaus of the Netherlands. Indonesia is the first country abroad where we start an MBA program, followed by China only one year later. Also in 1992, we expand our capacity development projects to Central Asia and the Middle East to help local business communities and individuals over time. Following the establishment of our campus in Maastricht, we officially change our name from RVB to Maastricht School of Management, or as it's commonly called, MSM. Together with that new name, we add our first executive MBA to our curriculum. After Asia and the Middle East, Africa becomes part of our MBA partnership family in 1994. Meanwhile, in Maastricht, we introduce the Doctor of Business Administration program. More and more people from all over the world of all ages discover us as a place of knowledge, like Claricel Uvienko in 1996 from the Philippines. My experience with MSM was rich, widespread, and very inspiring both from a personal perspective and academic standpoint. MSM is a culturally diverse organization that offers a wide range of learning uh, that upscales one's proficiency. Another chapter in our journey is the launch of the joint MBA program with Nanjing University in China, a strong education partnership that has been running for almost 25 years and is still in effect today. 在二十多年的岁月中，我们精诚合作，致力培养优秀管理人才，综合合作MBA项目不断向前发展创新，得到社会各界越来越多的认可。综合合作项目连续多年被评为最具影响力中外合作MBA排行榜top 10。not only are Chinese programs get noticed, all over the world our courses are awarded with international and national accreditations. The Business School of Nanjing University is one of the pioneers of business administration education in China. And the Sino-Dutch International MBA program is the first Sino-Foreign Cooperative Education project approved by the Chinese Ministry of Education. We are always 至于各项工作的首位,始终牢记人才培养的根本任务,将国际最前沿的学术思想研究方法和经世济民的情怀传授给学生。it's March 1st, 2000, when the first MBA partnership in Latin America becomes a fact. Since then, hundreds of MBA students graduated at the Centrum Catolica of Los Almos, Lima, Peru. We are proud to welcome Professor Dr. C.K. Prahalad at our Invest in the Future conference in 2008. In that same year, MSM initiates the Sustainable Development Center with the key project, Roundtable Africa. The center delivers 30 DBA students who conducted research during the period of 2008 to 2014. Students like Joseph Jashiro Wongbei from Kenya. The Doctor of Business Administration program 
offered me the opportunity to deepen my understanding of research processes. And uh, from that, I've been able to interact more appropriately with my senior colleagues. Additionally, I had uh, the opportunity to bring together stakeholders from across the value chain for roundtable discussions on the constraints affecting the industry. A new philosophy is developing around the new millennium, a philosophy that aims to meet the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This desire to grow without harming the prospects of future generations is deeply rooted in MSM's DNA. It is therefore not surprising that in 2008, we co-signed the Principles for Responsible Management Education, because bold leadership and innovative thinking are needed to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Some of those goals come together for us in our collaboration with the Institute Patanian Bogor. This Indonesian National Agricultural University in Borgor specializes in agricultural sciences, a collaboration that starts in 2008. Our work has a main focus on sustainability, particularly related to tropical agriculture. Together, we nurture the sustainability school of thoughts and its practices through a combination of collaborative research projects, knowledge exchanges, and student internships. Implementing sustainability hinges on the partnership with the private sector. To this end, we both understand the need to engage the private sector in our endeavor for sustainability. Back in the Netherlands, new students apply at MSM. Students like Alan Nurikie from Burundi. And then this MBA program helped me to increase my knowledge in creative thinking, in problem solving, but also in entrepreneurship. Since graduating, I created my own company called Wagenzi, which is an investment marketplace allowing individuals to invest in startups in Africa. In 2012, we celebrate our 60th anniversary together with Her Royal Highness Princess Maxima of the Netherlands. We are entering into new collaborations. Close to home with the RWTH Aachen University and in Zambia with the introduction of the Master of Management in Education. We introduced new programs with Nanjing University Healthcare Management MBA program. And in Maastricht, we launched the Master in Management as well as our first online MBA. Our international project and consultancy department, as in Latin America, where we're active for over 50 years in all kinds of capacity development projects, such as the COCA Local Economic Development Project in the COCA region of Colombia. Together with the University Foundation of Popoyan, the C-led project contributes to increasing knowledge and skills in participation methodologies, recognition of the gender approach, and active partnership in peace building. Alrededor de tres años, el proyecto CLET, que es ejecutado por la Escuela de Negocios de Maastricht, ha generado una dinámica muy importante en nuestra región, en el fortalecimiento de capacidades de las instituciones locales, académicas e institucionales en los municipios de Caldono, Totoro y Silvia. In many of these projects, we collaborate with NUFIC. An example is the 2020 Orange Knowledge Program, RESCOM a project committed to climate change, security and rule of law in the Sahel region. This partnership has been an occasion of apprentice, of good practice, but also of strategies innovative on the part of Maastricht School of Management. We are very recognizable for these efforts consentis to so permit the universities of Sahel, and especially our university, but also the organizations of the society civil in our members, to maîtrise the démarche systemic, but also the management of the conflict. Another example is the Bright Future in Agriculture project. Before taking my leadership role as a woman, I'm not sure, I was not sure if I would be capable for the leadership role, but the training female talent development within the Bright Future in Agriculture project made me the leader of my life, my work and my staff member. To better reflect its core activities, the International Project and Consultancy Department changes its name to Expert Centre on Emerging Economies in 2021. And that brings us to MSM Today. For 70 years, we have contributed to management development worldwide. We have a solid footprint in emerging and developing economies, provided internationally accredited global management training, and we managed a large number of capacity building projects around the world. 
We have built an extensive network of partners in more than 50 countries and close to 22,000 alumni. After graduation, I carried with me vast knowledge and experience that helped me in my journey to where I am right now. The Master in Management program at MSM was a professional bridge that I needed to the Netherlands. A one-year full-time program was great to refresh my management skills besides providing me with an international network. I am also working with uh, MSM as a consultant on a project to support WIN, a woman invest in organization in my country. I am happy to be part of this program because I'm, I'm, I am also contributing to the development of my country through MSM. After years of working, I felt entering an MBA study was the right step to broaden my strategic and analytical thinking and deepen my knowledge in business management. Studying at MSM enabled me to think more on the strategical level and see the correlation of actions. I was also able to switch industries from finance and manufacturing to IT and healthcare. I'm proud of everything we and our partners have achieved over the past 70 years. Now it's time to start writing the next chapters in our rich history. Coming chapters will still be driven by our mission and mandate as international education provider and expert center in the field of global leadership development. All will be with the same characteristics and drive, but now as part of Maastricht University, the extensive resource base of the School of Business and Economics. I'd like to thank everybody for what we have achieved over the past 70 years.